Hello, I'm Rev. Don Hamer. On behalf of the Christian Anti-Defamation Commission, with reason number seven, why Barack Obama, who claims to be a Christian, is not a Christian by any biblical or historical standard. By Obama's own account of his conversion, essential elements of true biblical conversion are lacking, namely conviction of sin, repentance and faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of the world. When asked if he believed in sin, Obama said yes, but when asked to define it, Obama said sin is being out of alignment with my values. According to the Bible, when man sins, he sins against a holy God in violation of God's holy law. Sin is not based on any man's standards. Righteousness is obedience to God and His Word. Obama is offended by the notion that all people need Christ in order to be saved. The difficult thing about Christianity is that at some level there is a call to evangelize. There's the belief certainly in some quarters that people haven't embraced Jesus Christ as their personal Savior that they're going to hell. So if Jesus is not a Savior who rescues from hell, then who is Jesus to Obama? Jesus is an historical figure for me, and he's also a bridge between God and man in the Christian faith. For Obama, Jesus is merely a historical figure, not the risen and living Lord. Merely a bridge in the Christian faith, not the only bridge for all mankind. Obama venerates doubt, which is contrary to the assurance of eternal salvation and truth which Christ gives his people. Ask if he was born again, Obama answered, yeah, but I retain a suspicion of dogma. I think that religion at its best comes with a big dose of doubt. I don't presume to have knowledge of what happens after I die. Jesus gives his assurance that he who believes on me has everlasting life, and I go to prepare a place for you. Without the public admission that you are lost in sin and that you have turned from your sin and put your faith in Christ and his shed blood as the only remedy for sin, you are not truly converted. Who are you going to believe? God and his word, O Obama. Please forward the link of this video to your family and friends so they can be equipped to defend our historic Christian faith from those who would seek to defame it. Visit www.defendchristians.org to find all seven reasons why Barack Obama is not.